sometimes in your automation process you need to execute some tests that will um, copy real life scenarios and today I'm going to teach you how you can connect your Android device remotely with your ADB server that means how can you uh, see and mirror your device through ADB and how you can launch your automatic tests on your Android device without having to physically connect your device to your PC. So in order to do that, first we must open up a terminal and we should make sure that our ADB server is started. For this, I will launch the ADB start server command. And now if I type in ADB devices, you will see that uh, there is no device connected to my PC. That is because I didn't connect the cable to my Android device yet. I will go ahead and connect the cable to one of my devices. And now if I execute ADB devices again, I can see that uh, in my list of available devices, there is a device with this ID. Um, what I'm going to do next is to show you the interface of this device, which is an Android phone. And I will use the application called Visor. I um, spoke about this in my previous videos. And as always, this is not a um, commercial for this software. It's just something I am using. And I think it's a great tool for you to um, automate your uh, tests and to see the um, screen of your device while you do so. So if I click on this play button, you can see right here uh, that the devices that is connected to this system has this name. So now, uh, because I launched this application, I am able to mirror my Android screen to my computer and also every tap or a gesture I make on my phone, it will be automatically replicated to my uh, Android device and to my screen. So in order for us to wirelessly connect our Android device to ADB, we must first uh, go to the settings, go to connections, Wi-Fi, and find the network that uh, the device is connected to and be careful in order for this to work it means that um, the phone and the PC should be connected to the same network so if I click on the details of this network I can see the um, IP address of my phone which is connected to the same network so we will uh, we will keep this in mind because we will need it for us to connect to ADB Right. Now, because I know my IP address, um, I will use a command called ADB connect to connect to this IP. But before I do that, I must uh, start a TCP IP port for my Android device so that it will accept connections to that particular uh, device. So the way of doing that is to execute a command like this adb tcp ip and i will give a port through which the connection will be made uh, by default uh, everybody uses this port so this is also the port we are going to use for this example but you should be able to use uh, any port uh, other than the standard ports for https or other services so once i did this you can see the message uh, that is saying restarting in TCP for the port 5555. Now, if I run ADB devices again, I will see that nothing has changed. And that is because I didn't launch the ADB connect command yet. So remember, we said ADB connect. And then uh, what we have to do is to use the IP address of the device so I will type in the exact uh, IP that is shown in the Wi-Fi uh, network details. And I will put in the port. 
if everything goes well and there are no other configuration issues, you should see this uh, information message telling you that ADB has successfully connected to this device. And now, if I run the ADB devices again, I should see that there are actually two devices in my ADB devices list and that is because um, there is the physical connection with the cable that is showing me the device uh, ID and then there is the um, TCP connection that is made directly through the network. So what I can do now, I will disconnect the cable, the physical cable from my device and now if I run IDB devices again, you will see that I am only left with the connection to the um, device's IP. So this means that now I don't need to um, connect my device physically to my computer. Instead, if I uh, click on this button for visor and uh, choose view wirelessly, you will see that now visor can connect to your device through the IP address. And this works exactly the same as the case where you would have your uh, phone physically connected through the cable to your computer. So it's the same mirroring, it's the same gestures that can be made on the phone and uh, throughout visor that will replicate the actions on your uh, screen. So this is the way to uh, connect your Android device via Wi-Fi to your ADB device, to your ADB uh, PC. Um, if you think about the uh, necessity of this thing is because sometimes you need to uh, write test cases that will maybe replicate real life scenarios where you will have maybe a loss of uh, Wi-Fi, you would have a battery that is discharging and you want to see how your application behaves under different circumstances uh, or you could uh, use it to launch your automatic tests on your um, Android devices that are not even on the same desk or uh, in the same room as your PC. So I'm glad, uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you and I wish you happy testing and see you again in the next video.